the corner of filament, the corner of fun, the filament corner. Alright, hey guys, it is the corner of filament, the corner of fun, the filament corner. And today, well, today I'm going to talk a little bit about fan adapters. And well, I'm going to be honest with you. If you've seen, if you'd seen the amount of them that I've made, you would kind of think it's an obsession. <laughs> but, so here's, here's one. This is a uh, blower fan adapter. And you can see the dust from where it was sucking up dust. And, well, you get the idea. Now... These, I'll go on the uh, one hand, when I've made loads of them, here's another one. That's got a nice butterfly on it. And I've made loads of different designs, and I've only, I've only shown you two. Technically, I have a whole bag of different ones I could go grab and show y'all. But um, the, they're not all up on Thingiverse. In fact, the newest... The newest one up on Thingiverse is this one, the the Yabba, which is an acronym for yet another blower adapter. Because I mean, it's it's another one <laughs> in a long line of fan adapters. But in light of making the yeah, but I started doing some other stuff. So this, well, this is actually for the heat sink. It's kind of like a diverter. So you see? And now the air can't come out the front. It has to go out the back of the heat sink. I didn't think about that until after I made the Yabba. Yeah, so that's why it's two separate pieces, but I'm getting ready to try to incorporate a built-in diverter. And obviously I do I do two different kinds. I do without spacers and with spacers. In case people have the stock spacers or in case they don't. And obviously this has spacers built in. But I've also been working on some other interesting stuff. So let me pull it off the printer. This is the newest whoop bump the camera there. The newest iller iteration of the Yabba. The mag, or that's short for magnet. Yeah, but now that's one thing I've never I've never cared for the weight of the fan always makes them fall over. So, but that's just a personal thing. Come on, Mike, get him. Come on, kitty at the door. Kitty at the door. All right. So, in case you didn't notice. There are, well, shiny reflective things in there, and those are magnets. Let me see, I'm gonna grab something. Here we go. Here's some. So, the way that works is the idea is that it's a uh, magnetic yabba that sticks on. To the hot end assembly and as you can see built-in diverter so the idea with this is you could always you could always take the fan off of the printer without taking apart the entire assembly but now I can take the whole Yabba off and view the inside of the the inside of the assembly through the 
stock cutout hole in the heat sink. So, that is what I've been working on recently. And I will try to get a close up of it. Let's slide the camera over. And voila. And let's get the zoom going. You see, there's the ABBA just sitting there doing its thing. Okay, well, we got a problem. The filament's not feeding properly. Bam. Now, I can look through this hole without having to take these screws out and then this has nothing holding it to the printer. So, I can look through into what the extruder is doing without the extruder being loose from the printer. Um, it's not always easy to get it on 100% and I mean I'm still trying to figure out what all I'm doing with this but you know there's something there and in case you're wondering why I have a second heat sink that's because I'm using a, uh, a pancake motor and I've actually got the room for a heat sink on the back I had magnets on the back side of those screws and one of the magnets stuck to the side of the printer. Yeah, those magnets are powerful. These little bitty magnets. I mean, they look like a watch battery. And they are really strong. And that's what's in the Yabba. Now, I press fitted them into the ABBA. So let me let me pull these bad boys off. Just so that way I can show you. So the ABBA uses two magnets and <laughs> look at the size of those two magnets. Those two magnets are absolutely tiny in comparison to the Yabba itself and yeah I didn't have this screwed on I was seeing how well it did just touching the motor and that's kind of why I had the magnets on there was to help hold it on so as you can see let me move the camera you all. There we go. As you can see, the screws have two standoffs that we tighten them down to so that way this whole assembly is tightened down. And so, on the, let me zoom you out here, on the inside of the Yabba, you can see the magnets, and the head of the screw goes into the hole, and because there's no wall there, the magnet automatically attracts to the head of that screw. Doing it this way, allows us to get away with attaching this and of course because the magnets are at the bottom it's easy to move them at the top but th the thing about that is are you going to be touching your the top of your printer while it's running? Probably not. So let me grab a Allen key
Yeah, see? That's, that's pretty tight. Um, I could tighten them down more, but there's no real point. Because they're tight enough. They got enough tension. So let me, let me take one off here. So this is this is also using stock screws that this printer come with. I'm trying to stay stock with what I can because I could have used shorter screws and not had to have made uh, spacers. But I'm trying to go stock as I can. So the spacer itself is actually a challenging print because it has to be the way I've got this now it has to be as thin as the screw head while also sliding onto the screw and that's really challenging for the printer you can see the vertical well you may be able to see the vertical seam that it makes hit bait while trying to do this and it and yeah, the bottom's thicker than the top because half of this is on the heat sink. So it's not going into the Yaba. So it doesn't need to be as thin as the screw head. But for the for the part that does, it is. So That is what I'm currently looking at now. The reason why it has to be the same diameter as the screw head is because that's the diameter hole for this side of the other. That's right. The magnet holes are bigger than the screw head holes and that's just because if I made this hole go all the way through you could push you could push the magnets all the way through and you wouldn't have a set distance to get them equal by doing it this way you have a set distance the only problem is well now my spacer has to be as thin as the head of the screw so yeah and like I said it's a work in progress see now she snapped on but it wasn't it wasn't a smooth it's not always a smooth transition, which is not the best, but, you know, working with what we got here. So now what I want to do is actually go off the tripod, and we are tripod free, and let me... And now, pop that off. And as you can see, see, you can um, make out the extruder gear and the filament. So, yes, it is a small hole. And yes, it may not be helpful in all situations to be able to. Uh, have access to that viewing area without undoing the entire extruder motor but having that as an option in my opinion is better than needing it and not having it so I think that it's a smart idea to have the ability even if you don't use it now this does, of course, use external hardware, the magnets. I got those off of the 
printing store the ultimate Freddy printing store and they are a bit expensive on there but that's a place that it, that I can link that you can get the magnets from and they really are strong so you get four of them well at least that's what I got I ordered four of them at once and they they work they stick now I push fit them into this yeah but so I don't have to worry about them coming out and I don't have to worry about them coming out on these screws because like I said that hole is smaller than this hole so the magnet can't be pulled out of that hole and while I see that time it slid on and I'll move that so that I can do this you see the axis can move just fine without upsetting that so and that's the way I do it I just loop the uh, fan cord around the back there So yeah, I uh, hope this has at least been interesting, seeing all these different de designs for the same thing. And I plan to take the uh, this improvement and add it to this one, so whether or not a magnet one ever reaches Thingiverse. I don't know, mainly because of, well, the spacers, because those spacers are hard to print, so, but hey, if y'all are interested, then let me know, so, with that said, I'd like to say, thanks for watching if you're interested in uh, well the Yabba I'll link it down below and well I mean you can also go through there and look at any of my other other designs such as braces and pin holder plotter all different kinds of stuff on there anyways uh, Thanks for watching my video.